We've all been there, that task, that project looming over us, we know we should be working on it, but something holds us back. That, my friends, is the grip of procrastination. It whispers in our ear telling us we have more time, that it's okay to put things off. But procrastination is a thief, it steals our time, our productivity, and ultimately our potential. But there's hope. Overcoming procrastination is possible. In this video we'll explore practical tips and inspiring stories to help you break free. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to 365 Motivationals for more content like this. Procrastination isn't a life sentence. It's a habit, and habits can be changed. We'll delve into the psychology behind procrastination. Understanding why we procrastinate is the first step to overcoming it. We'll equip you with proven strategies and techniques. From setting clear goals to breaking down tasks, you'll gain the tools you need to conquer procrastination. Real-life stories of triumph over procrastination will inspire you. You'll see that it's possible to break free and achieve your goals. Let's embark on this journey together. Let's defeat procrastination and unlock a world of productivity and fulfillment. Procrastination. It's more than just laziness. It's a complex dance between our minds and our actions. We delay, we defer, we avoid. But what exactly is it? Procrastination is the act of voluntarily delaying an intended course of action, despite knowing we'll likely be worse off for it. It's a conscious choice to prioritize immediate gratification over long-term goals. We choose the comfort of now, even if it means discomfort later. But understanding its true nature is the first step to conquering it. It's about recognizing the patterns, the excuses, the justifications we tell ourselves. Why do we procrastinate? The answer is rarely simple. Fear of failure can be a powerful motivator. We avoid starting fearing that we won't meet our own expectations. Sometimes it's the lack of motivation. The task seems daunting, the reward distant. We struggle to find the drive to begin. Poor time management also plays a role. We underestimate the time needed, leaving tasks to the last minute. Other times, we seek perfection. The need to wait for the perfect moment, the ideal conditions can lead to endless delays. Recognizing these reasons is key to breaking free. Section 3. The Price of Procrastination Beyond the Surface The cost of procrastination goes beyond unfinished tasks. It chips away at our self-esteem. Every delayed task is a blow to our confidence. It fuels a cycle of guilt and anxiety. We worry about the approaching deadlines, the mounting pressure. Procrastination can also strain relationships. Unmet deadlines and broken promises can damage trust and create tension. But most importantly, it robs us of our potential. It prevents us from achieving our goals, living our dreams. Breaking free from procrastination is about reclaiming our lives, our time, and our future. Section 1. The Power of Goal Setting – Charting Your Course Imagine setting sail without a destination in mind. You might wander aimlessly, buffeted by the winds of procrastination. Goal setting is like charting your course. It provides direction, purpose, and a clear vision of what you want to achieve. Start by setting SMART goals. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Instead of saying I want to write a book, define it as I will write one chapter of my mystery novel every week for the next six months. This clarity helps you stay focused and motivated. Remember, a goal without a plan is just a wish. Turn your goals into actionable steps. Section 2. Breaking down the walls, conquering large tasks. A large task can feel like an insurmountable wall, leading us to procrastinate. The key is to break it down into smaller, more manageable bricks. Divide and conquer. Instead of writing an entire report, focus on completing one section at a time. This makes the task less daunting and provides a sense of accomplishment as you complete each step. Celebrate those small victories. Each brick you lay brings you closer to tearing down that wall of procrastination. Remember Rome wasn't built in a day, and your goals won't be achieved overnight. Section 3. Crafting Your Ideal Workspace setting the stage for success. Our environment plays a crucial role in our productivity. A cluttered workspace can be a breeding ground for distractions and procrastination. Create a workspace that inspires you. 
Find a quiet corner, free from distractions where you can focus on the task at hand. Good lighting, comfortable seating, and a clutter-free environment can work wonders for your concentration. Surround yourself with things that motivate you. A vision board with your goals, inspirational quotes, or even just a plant can make a difference. Remember, your workspace should be your sanctuary for productivity. Section 4. Time Management Tools – Your Allies in the Battle Against Procrastination Time is our most valuable resource, yet it's often the one we manage the poorest. We all have the same 24 hours in a day, but how we use those hours can make a world of difference. Procrastination thrives on poor time management. When we fail to plan our time effectively, we leave room for distractions and delays. But fear not, for there are tools to help us regain control. These tools can transform how we approach our daily tasks and long-term goals. The Pomodoro Technique encourages focused work sessions followed by short breaks, enhancing productivity and reducing burnout. By breaking tasks into manageable chunks, it helps maintain concentration and momentum. Time blocking involves scheduling specific time slots for different tasks, ensuring that important activities get the attention they deserve. This method helps in prioritizing tasks and avoiding the trap of multitasking. Digital calendars and task management apps can be your allies, providing reminders, deadlines, and a clear overview of your schedule. These tools can help you stay on track and ensure that nothing falls through the cracks. Remember, the key is to find what works best for you and stick to it. Experiment with different techniques and tools until you discover the perfect fit for your lifestyle and work habits. Time management isn't about squeezing more into your day, it's about making the most of the time you have. By using these tools and techniques, you can take control of your time, reduce stress, and achieve your goals more efficiently. Section 1. From Procrastinator to Productivity Powerhouse, The Story of Sarah Meet Sarah Once, she was trapped in a cycle of procrastination, Deadlines loomed, stress mounted and her dreams seemed distant. Sarah knew she had potential but procrastination held her back. One day she decided to make a change. Sarah started by setting small, achievable goals. She broke down large tasks into smaller steps, making them feel less daunting. She discovered the power of time blocking, scheduling specific times for work and for breaks. Slowly but surely, Sarah transformed from a procrastinator to a productivity powerhouse. She reclaimed her time, her focus, and her life. Sarah's story reminds us that change is possible, one step at a time. Section 2 Conquering the Fear of Failure – Michael's Journey to Artistic Freedom Michael, a talented artist, struggled with crippling fear of failure. This fear was not just a fleeting thought but a constant companion that haunted him every time he picked up a brush. He would spend hours staring at a blank canvas, paralyzed by the thought that his work wouldn't live up to his expectations. The blank canvas became a symbol of his self-doubt, a barrier he couldn't seem to cross. Procrastination became his refuge, a shield against potential criticism. He would find countless reasons to delay starting a new piece, convincing himself that he needed more time to perfect his ideas. He realized that his fear stemmed from a need for perfection. This realization was a turning point for Michael as he began to understand that perfection was an unattainable goal that only served to hinder his creativity. Michael decided to embrace imperfection, to see mistakes not as failures but as stepping stones to growth. He started to view each error as an opportunity to learn and improve, rather than a setback. He began setting aside time each day for creative exploration silencing his inner critic. This dedicated time allowed him to experiment freely without the pressure of producing a perfect piece. With each brushstroke Michael chipped away at the wall of fear unleashing his artistic potential. The act of painting became a therapeutic process, helping him to break free from the constraints of his own mind. He learned that true freedom came not from avoiding failure but from embracing the creative process, flaws and all. By accepting his imperfections, Michael found a new sense of liberation and joy in his art allowing his creativity to flourish like never before. Section 3. Time Management Transformation – Emily's Path to Work-Life Balance Emily, a dedicated professional, found herself overwhelmed by her workload. She was constantly juggling multiple projects, meetings, and deadlines, which left her feeling like she was always playing catch-up. 
Long hours and endless to-do lists left her feeling drained and unfulfilled. She often found herself working late into the night, sacrificing her personal time and hobbies. Procrastination crept in, fueled by exhaustion and a lack of boundaries. Emily would delay tasks, feeling too tired to tackle them, which only added to her stress. She realized that she needed to regain control of her time. It became clear that without a structured approach, she would continue to spiral into burnout. Emily discovered the Pomodoro technique, using focused work sprints and short breaks to enhance her productivity. This method allowed her to concentrate intensely for short periods, making her work more efficient. She started setting clear boundaries between work and personal time, creating space for activities that brought her joy. Emily began to prioritize her well-being, ensuring she had time for exercise, hobbies, and socializing. Emily's transformation wasn't just about getting more done, it was about reclaiming her life. She learned to say no to unnecessary commitments and focused on what truly mattered. She found that by managing her time effectively, she could excel in her career without sacrificing her well-being. Emily's journey to work-life balance taught her the importance of self-care and the power of intentional living. Section 4. The Power of Small Steps – David's Marathon of Success David dreamed of running a marathon, but the sheer scale of the challenge seemed insurmountable. He would procrastinate, putting off his training, overwhelmed by the thought of the miles ahead. He decided to break down his goal into smaller, more manageable steps. He started with short runs, gradually increasing his distance week by week. He celebrated each milestone, each mile conquered, fueling his motivation. David realized that the marathon wasn't just about physical endurance, it was about mental fortitude. It was about overcoming the urge to procrastinate, to give up, and instead embracing the power of consistency and small steps. We've explored the treacherous terrain of procrastination understanding its roots and its costs, but more importantly, we've armed ourselves with powerful strategies to overcome it. Remember the importance of setting SMART goals. These guideposts provide clarity and direction, transforming vague desires into actionable steps. Breaking down large tasks into smaller, more manageable ones makes the insurmountable achievable. Create a workspace that inspires you, a haven for productivity and focus. And don't underestimate the power of time management tools. From the Pomodoro technique to time blocking, these allies help us regain control of our most precious resource time. The journey to overcoming procrastination is a marathon, not a sprint. There will be days when the allure of procrastination whispers sweetly in your ear. But remember, consistency is key. Just like a single drop of water can carve a path through stone over time, small, consistent actions can erode the grip of procrastination. Don't get discouraged by setbacks. Every day is a new opportunity to make progress. Celebrate your victories no matter how small. Each task completed, each step taken brings you closer to your goals. Remember, the power to change lies within you. The stories we've shared demonstrate the transformative power of overcoming procrastination. Sarah, Michael, Emily, and David. They all face their own unique challenges, yet they emerged victorious. Their journeys remind us that change is possible for everyone. It starts with a decision, a commitment to break free from the chains of procrastination. Embrace the challenge with courage and determination. The path to productivity awaits. Step onto it with confidence, knowing that you have the tools and the strength to succeed. We've journeyed together exploring the depths of procrastination and emerging with the tools to conquer it. Remember, procrastination is not a life sentence. It's a habit, and habits can be broken. Start today, choose one strategy, one small step, and commit to it. Break down that daunting task, set a timer, or create a dedicated workspace. Each step, no matter how small, moves you closer to a future free from procrastination. Embrace the power of consistency, celebrate your victories, and never underestimate your ability to change. And for more inspiring content on motivation, mindset, and personal development, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to 365 Motivationals. The path to productivity awaits. Take that first step today.